Let's talk about the Detroit Lions of a big game in Green Bay. I don't like the your Packers. tone. I don't like your tone. Well, I already can tell. I don't like it. You, I'm just because you're all in and the best team in the league. Jared Goff is the MVP and all this stuff. I just don't see it, but I want to hear your case. I don't. I don't, I don't well, how it. are you not right now? First because of all, because they only have is, one good win. But we'll get to that. Go ahead. I want to hear. It is. You. It, is it is rare that a team again. You know, you come back from a great season last season, but a horrible loss. And you're able to bounce back and continue that. And if not, maybe even be better right now. Um, they're sitting at 6-1. and one. They uh, look spectacular. They're thrashing everybody. They're winning by plus 100 points in the point differential. And Jared Goff is going crazy right now in the last five games when you're talking about quarterback rating, when you're talking about passing percentage uh, hovering in 80%. Their scoring offense is ridiculous. They got, do you want to run the ball? You want to pass the ball, whatever you want. And again, they're playing with a chip on their shoulder as if to say, we messed this thing up last year. We had a chance to be in the Super Bowl for the first time since it wasn't even called the Super Bowl. Since Moby Dick was a guppy. No, it was beyond. Who was first? It was before like Adam and Eve. And all of a sudden, we blew that. So they've come back with a vengeance. I love what Dan Campbell's doing. Got those guys fired up. And, of course, offensive coordinator Ben Johnson, who I pray they never lose because, I mean, he once he leaves, I'm, I'm worried. But I just love what they're doing. And Jared Goff is definitely the leading candidate, if not one or two, for the MVP right now for what he has his team looking like. And you got other co- coaches are, you are sure even about acknowledging. That? As of right now, yes. How many yards did he have last week? Uh, don't know that. I don't know. Three, four touchdowns, all I know. No, I'm I don't asking how many yards. yards. Do, you, do you know? No, I literally don't, don't even know. Like, uh, a 90 or something? 100, 80, 80, 85? 90? Okay. I'm yeah. Just yeah, three thrillers. How many touchdowns did he have? I'm just saying, 85 yards. Let's not. Let's, no, no. It's got to be How in, con- it's gotta be in context. That's all. It is in context. Are you looking at this man's stats? Yeah, I am. He's, he's, 1,700 yards, 13 touchdowns, four interceptions. That's it. And 115 quarterback rating. And he caught one, too, without the sticky gloves. He caught a touchdown pass. He's had a perfect game. He had another almost perfect game. And I'm not saying he'll, at the end of the season, win MVP. But right now, he's right there with another guy or two. And I just love the way they got this team rolling right now. And I just think they're the best team, which is why this is going to be a big game against the uh, Green Bay Back Packers, who look great as well to continue to see who leads the division and also really who leads the in the entire conference of the NFC. I don't see how you feel differently. Well, because I, I always want to take it in context too because the team could have more losses but play better teams and better competitions and better wins. So so I, and, and then you can look at the Lions, and I'm not taking anything away from I'm not because you got to play who's on the schedule. But you do have to take it in context and say – the best win they had was Minnesota, and then all the other people, all the other teams were basically chopped liver. And when you look at the record of the teams that they've beaten, right, I'm talking about their, com- their, their combined record, they're under 500. They're 20 and 24. So they, they've beaten a lot of teams that aren't good. Like when they beat the Cowboys, you say, oh, wow, they went to Dallas. Everybody beats the Cowboys. So that win doesn't feel nearly, and they, and they beat the brakes off of them. But right. it doesn't feel ne- nearly as good as if this was but, the Cowboy teams that had a 16-game winning streak at home or the Cowboys team that had won 13 games the last three years. You know what I mean? Or, or well, that, let me counter you know, that. Let me counter that. You, you're, you're right that they're not – I mean, the NFL is kind of weird right now. They're not easily great teams. Obviously, Kansas City, I think they do play each other at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong on that. But um, I'm looking at things like the Cowboys. They didn't – the Cowboys beat the Steelers. Now, I know that was Justin Fields, but, I mean, they've beaten three teams. They beat the brakes off of them, right? Okay, cool. Then you go to the Seahawks. You know, they've had some ups and downs where the season. They beat the brakes off of them. Then you go to the Titans, who they're supposed to be. They beat the brakes off of them. So my thing is they're not letting teams, they're not having like the Ravens, who I still think, come on now, you know how I feel about the Ravens. They're the team that you'd fear you want to play because the way they play. But the Ravens have had some games where you're like, why did you lose to the Raiders? Why did you lose to the Browns? Jameis Winston's first start. Why did you let the Cowboys come all the way back and make this thing a very, very one-score game? So I yeah, but I when you look at some of the wins that they had, I think that's what's impressive by. So the they got Ravens. some great, which is why the Ravens. You know how I feel. We they're still right up there with me. They're not as if all of a sudden they dropped below ten. I'm not Micah Parsons out here in these streets. But my point is, 
They are doing what they're supposed to do and some. And I respect that because how many times we go, man, how this team loses that team or how they only beat them by a field goal or man, that was way too close for my comfort. They're going in on a mission and they're stomping on people and they're putting their foot on their throat. And I appreciate that because that shows me something that they learned from last year of playing around and keeping teams in and playing loose and let's try this and let... They are saying, no, 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 we have learned. And again, they're going to have a hiccup. They got, you know, several more games. They're going to have a game where, like, I was a clunker or they barely win. But as of right now, they're absolutely taking care of business. And I think Jared Goff should be getting a little bit more love the way he's controlling the best offense in the NFL right now. But when you look at some of the numbers, and like I said, the three touchdowns, great, 85 yards or whatever it was, it's just not that impressive. And when you looked at – what the Ravens did to, like, the Bills. Like, right, the Bills are a really good team. Mm -hmm. And some of the other wins that they've had, and I get it, they, they've lost a couple games as well. Uh, the defense let uh, Jameis Winston march down and, and beat them, and uh, their foot was on the line against the Chiefs. That could have been a huge win. Uh, week one, they played them really well, Came have made a huge comeback in Kansas City. And then the debacle against, that just was a debacle against the Raiders because the Raiders aren't a good team. Uh, I just I look at the degree of difficulty. I look at a lot of other things, and and that's why even when I talk about the Chiefs, um, this is not new for me because I said this before that even when the uh, Steelers were nine and zero or ten and zero wherever they were that year, I I did not feel like they were great. Do you know what I mean? I really didn't. They won but games. Let's say I'm the Lions, so I come to you. I say, Rob, what don't you like about us? Like I, that no, would be my not, thing. It's not that I don't like anything about them. I, that because I said I even picked them to beat the Vikings, didn't I? I yeah. did. So it's not like I don't think that they're good, or I picked against them every week. I picked them to beat the Vikings in Minnesota because I didn't think Minnesota was that great, and I thought the Lions are better than the Vikings, despite the Vikings at that point being undefeated. You see, you, you see what I'm saying. I'm just. No, I hear you, but I'm saying I don't think there's a better team in the entire conference than, I, I, than them. Yeah, I, I just think I still like the Ravens. If I was to say who's the best team in the NFL, despite their how many losses they have now, three, three? despite their three losses, I still I would I would take the Ravens any day over them. I really. The would. only thing that would worry, I would take the Lions because of how they're playing right now. But historically, when you look at Lamar Jackson versus the NFC, he's got to get to a Super Bowl, Rob, so he can put this stat to test. I think he's like 22 or 23 and 1. Yeah, it's, a, it's incredible. The that is one of the greatest stats I've ever heard in my life that, like, no one really talks about. Like, if he gets to a Super Bowl, the statistics say he's going to beat that NFC team. He's just got to get by Patrick Mahomes. So he can finally do that. But I would love to see the Ravens and Lions. That would be an amazing Super Bowl. Currently, I haven't picked the Lions in Kansas City. That's what I picked at the beginning of the season. Um, and obviously, that still looks great. Between the two teams, you got 13 wins and one loss between those two teams. So I just love what I'm seeing from them right now, man. They're on a mission. Uh, they're destroying people. Again, 100 points plus differential right now. Five-game winning streak. And I think they're just on a mission to right their wrong from last season. And I love to see that because oftentimes teams come in and then you're like, well, what happened from last year? Why aren't they playing as well? Why aren't they keeping up with the expectations? They're doing that and some. And I think they're only going to get stronger as they continue to go through and play some tougher teams that even if they take a loss, you know, it's good they have played a better team. And this week is a great example of that going up against the Green Bay Packers, who are a really good team. Is Jordan Love playing? And is Jacobs I, I out think, as well? Yeah, I, I think Love is playing. We'll have to wait and see. Love I and think, Jacobs might both be out. It'll yeah, be that's a big – that would be a and, big And then loss, again, obviously. that would be if those two guys aren't playing. It's not that if the Lions can't go up there and win and beat them – but you would have to look at that game and go, yeah. Yeah, well, I would. I want him to play so you can no, beat, right, you know, see right. who be, that kind of feel out how both teams are. And uh, so I hope he's playing so that you're play, playing a team at their at least full strength or at least as close to that as possible. But I like what I'm seeing. I, I don't think there's a better team right now in football in the way they just beat you right off the bat. They just come in, take your heart, and then they stomp on it. And I love seeing teams at any sport. I just love seeing teams do that, not play around with their food and keep people in the game and, you know, have mental farts and lose, you know, kind of like the Yankees or how the Ravens have done a couple of times where you just kind of you blank out and you're like, man, pound, keep going, keep going. And uh, they've been able to do that. I love what I'm seeing from them. All right, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. And are the Raptors really making a comeback against the Lakers? What What is this? 